The law of assumption is running your life. That's according to Neville Goddard. And an assumption is anything you give permission or consent to be true. So if you want to change your outside circumstances, you're going to have to change your assumptions. But how do you do that? Specifically, if you've been trying to change your assumptions and nothing seems to work. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your assumptions. The biggest mistake that people make and the two ways that you can start shifting your assumptions now so you can start changing your outside world. I'm going to be visually writing out the dynamics so you can better understand. I'm also going to give you practical information that you can start to apply right now so that you can start shifting your life to the life that you really want to live so let's get started so this is where a lot of people go wrong in really tapping into the power of the law of assumption they have an assumption which is going to be represented with this sad plant this plant has seen better days now this is going to represent the old assumption it's producing something that's not hoping bring more life now you've got this other beautiful assumption over here that's fruitful that's colorful and that you really like the reflection of so what happens? You're like, okay, I'm going to assume, I'm gonna give this new assumption permission and consent to be true. And then there it is, ta-da! I have planted that new assumption in my self-concept. So why isn't life changing? Wait, why, why are things happening the same way? Because you've got to let go, deal with, revise this old assumption. If not, you're literally trying to put the new assumption on top of the old assumption and all you're going to get a reflection of is what is already planted so how do you start to uproot remove and let go of this old assumption that brings us to the first step right now if you can just let go of an assumption if you can think about a memory and then put another memory on it and genuinely believe that that updated visual of you is you great if you're like me and you have struggled to let go of the past and that past continues to replay in your future, this can dramatically change your life because you've got to understand where and how assumptions are first formed. Then it will actually give you leverage to let it go. The assumptions that you're giving permission consent to be true right now happen based on an experience. An event happened in your life, you put a label, you put an assumption about how the world works or about what you're worth or not worth. And primarily this comes from our caregivers growing up. The reason that this is so important to understand is because of the vulnerability and the reliance or dependence you had on this person. So what this person said, did, how they treated you, what you perceived your worth was in this is vital to understand so that you can revise it. And this is how I personally have revised a lot of things from my past that had a lot of guilt and shame around. I had to get here and understand this so that I could shift my perspective. Essentially, you're going to learn to relate to those experiences differently so that you can shift your assumption. So if you grew up with a caregiver who was emotionally unavailable, you might assume you're not important. Because this person didn't have the capacity, you made an assumption because you didn't have very good reasoning skills because you were a child, but you've assumed this to be true. And what is this? This right here is starting to form your self-concept, which the way I see it is a group of all your assumptions. It forms the shape or the image you hold of yourself, and you're always gonna get a reflection of this because this is who you are being. And Dr. Joe Dispenza says that whoever you're being, it's gonna send out a unique electromagnetic signature. The thoughts and the feelings based on this is what you're gonna get a reflection of. That's why when you go to put what you want on top of this self-image, it doesn't work because only when you uproot and remove that, remove the unwanted assumption, can you actually have the space to plant the new assumption. So if you had a caregiver who actually was mean to you, who was abusive, you might think, I'm not worthy because if I was worthy, this person would have treated me that way, assuming this person had the available skills that you needed. As you start to see, holy shit, this person was a human being. This person had their own unique set of traumas and assumptions that they brought into it. 
But as I see, oh, this person actually never possessed the capacity that I needed. They were actually emotionally immature. And when I see it had nothing to do with my worth, that's when you can start changing these assumptions because you're going to change how you relate to the early formation of your self-concept. And this is where you might have been able to manifest or shift different things in your life. Maybe you're, it's easy for you to manifest money, but when it comes to romantic relationships, it seems impossible. Maybe you're able to get a romantic relationship but you're not able to manifest any money because most likely the early on relations and again it can be relational trauma is the word creates perceptions creates filters of how you see the world and you'll keep finding a person or situations that continues to mimic or echo the way this person made you feel and when you realize oh my god that had nothing to do with me the reason i assume i'm not important is because this person actually was unable to actually connect with me because they were dealing with their own shit. Maybe they had a lot of guilt. Maybe they had a lot of shame. I thought it was what I lacked, but I can see that this caregiver did the best they could. There could be anger. You need to process. Don't get stuck there, but be genuine and allow yourself to feel those feelings so that you can move past them and heal the wounds that this dynamic created in you. When you do that, you can shift your assumptions and begin to create space for those new assumptions. So that's the first thing you can do to really start changing your assumptions. The second thing you can do is to start to really observe what assumptions you're making moment to moment. Every event that happens, every situation in our life is neutral. We put a meaning on it. We put a label of what it means. If you have a situation where somebody feels more distant, or you're getting less contact, maybe they didn't te they didn't text you back or they usually text you and they, they've texted you less and less. If you're in the old self-concept, um, with the old assumptions that you're unworthy, you're not important, that you have no value. This situation here, this old version of you is going to say, oh, okay, there we go. They're going to leave me. What did I do? If I was more attractive, did I say something wrong? Do they think I'm weird? This always happens. Everyone always leaves. So you're starting to assume that the reason that they're distancing themselves is because of this self-concept, those insecurities or those old wounds that give you a distortion portion of yourself. So you're thinking it's because of you. In contrast, the same situation happens. There's a gap, a moment where you have a choice and you can choose to be this person. This ideal, this version of you that's in the wish fulfilled, they have assumptions that they're worthy, that you're loved, that you're deserving. So if someone starts to distance, you don't assume it's because of what you lack or what you did or that you're being punished or that they don't like you anymore. You don't know what's going on and until you hear more, you're not gonna assume it's because of you. Because even in that, actually assuming it's about you is self-abandonment. It's self-rejection. So the more you start to understand, okay, what me am I being in the moment? What meaning am I saying that this neutral situation has? Who am I being? What assumptions am I relating through? The moment to moment awareness completely changed my life because over and over and over, I would think of how I wanted my life to be. I would think of that ideal version of me, but I continued to be self-rejecting, self-abandoning, assuming it was because of what I lacked and because I was unworthy on why people were doing all sorts of different things. When I started to stay with myself and realize I don't know what's happening and I'm gonna stay neutral and I'm going to take the energy, I'm gonna take care of myself in that moment. It allowed me to make choices that aligned with this version of me. The more and more you do this, the more and more you'll gain that energy back and allow yourself to start being in this ideal version of you right now, shifting your assumptions because you can affirm and that's great and you can visualize and that's great, but affirm will not change your assumption. Affirmations help to strengthen something, but they don't help to dissolve it. The more you can relate to whatever happened, whatever situations that happened early on, relate to those differently. Let go of those old meanings. Let go of those old assumptions and step into the truth of yourself. The more you can start to naturally feel that this is really you and live in that right now. If you want more about how you can start feeling worthy and deserving right now, this next video right here is gonna break it down even further. Thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. If you like this video, click like. If you haven't done so already, join this community and I will see you on the next one.